Uh, this is the butcher shop. It's a free theater on Labor Day in Chico, California. Um, well, I wrote the play with uh, a couple other people, um, Rob Davidson, Sarah Pape, and Jesse Karch. I'm directing the play, and then I'm also in the play. It's a, it's a huge opportunity to work with a lot of people. There's a hundred people in the show, you know. I guess it has something to do with like the 12 year old in the audience who is watching the show and they have this experience when they see the play that makes them think about something in a different way than they thought about it before. And I think uh, all of us have that experience, like going to see a live performance when we're children and something about it really sticks with us, so it changes our opinion about the world or about ourselves or about a relationship we have with somebody or something. People get to see like each other, you know, performing for each other. There's something about that that's very old and elemental, I think. There's something really beautiful, especially about where we have it in this orchard. You feel the breeze, you feel like you're in nature, and it's like live theater. And that's just it's really special. Uh, it's a beautiful chaos. And from the very first time we got to see it, uh, we felt transported, and like something magical and amazing was happening here. And so we wanted to support it in whatever way we could. Absolutely. Um, and there's a real sense of community. I really like supporting communities and just any way that I can help like kind of create something. Yeah, I mean what you look at at the end product is probably a hundred different people putting their creative energy and life force into something pretty amazing. And so even if you're doing one thing, you're connected to a network of people doing magic. It feels like magic by the end. There's food trucks, there's art, there's visual artists, there's musicians, performers, writers. So it's really this big multimedia festival. It's all inclusive. Um, everybody is invited. And you don't have to even have any money to come out here. It's a free festival. Um, so I think it harkens back to different times in, in history where this is like really community building. And people came out and they shared their stories, and their creative talents, and we're, you know, continuing that kind of tradition out here, and it's just so much fun. The way these people throw this all together in a week to two weeks, and the amount of dedication and effort that they show, it gets bigger and bigger every year, it gets better and better every year. If you want to know why it happens, it's basically because of the people.